What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamas Tank. So today we'll be doing a speed RAM temperature Geekbench and a 3D mark test over here between two very powerful phones. In the first corner here, we have one of my favorite phones in 2022 and this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And it's going up against the flagship killer in the Realme GT Neo 3. Over here with the S22 Ultra, we do know that it does have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. It's going up against the first ever phone to have the MediaTek Dimensity 4100. And before we start anything, let's check out the temperatures over here. 25.6 in terms of phones, 34.8 here, 33.5. So let's boot these two phones up and let's see which one would start up faster. Normally, Samsung phones do have a very slow boot up. Let's see over here against the GT Neo 3 whether it can beat it. Also, just to keep in mind that both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% as we start this test. And also, we're going to see with the battery health as well, which one would drain faster. All right, looks like it's pretty neck and neck. And I would assume, yes, it's already done here with the GT Neo 3. Let's check out the calendar. Still take some time and it's almost done. And with the S22 Ultra, just slightly above it. I mean, slightly behind it. Battery has already gone down on both of these two phones. Over here, 5,000 minutes and battery here as well. Pretty similar indeed. Calendar is still not yet set up with the GT Neo 3. And just to show you guys, both of these two phones in terms of the brightness will be maxed out. Here it does have the extra brightness over here, whereas on the GT Neo 3 as well, it's also pushed to maximum. And in terms of connection, both of them do connect to the same Wi-Fi network and also location and Bluetooth is on. And I'll just turn this off just to make this fair. And also in terms of the display, both of them are running in at 120 hertz at HD plus settings. So these are the apps that we are going to test out. Before we go any further, let's check out the temperatures. 35 degrees and over on the S22 Ultra, 36.6, so definitely warmer here. All right, so let's see these apps that we are going to test out. And also just to let you guys know, all apps have been closed on both of these two phones as we start this test. So one, two, three, let's go. All right, so pretty neck and neck on both of these two phones. Very, very good. Let's go on to the next one here, which is Pokemon Go. Okay, it does take some time and finally we're done. Again, pretty neck and neck on both of these two phones. Go to YouTube. Okay, slightly slower here on the S22 Ultra. Okay, I think the S22 Ultra is slightly ahead. Let's go to PUBG Mobile. A bit of a stutter there with the GT Neo 3. Let's see which one will come out on top. Okay, GT Neo 3 here does have the clear lead over the S22 Ultra, which is just slightly behind, to be honest. Let's go to Google Chrome. About the same, I would say. And then let's go on to Facebook. Okay, this one is pretty much the same. Let's go to Shopee. Okay, about the same. YouTube Music. Okay, settings, Manchester United, super disappointing transfer window, zero net spend as of today. Okay, let's go to Premier League. So it looks like I had to update a lot of apps. Okay, let's go on to Netflix. Okay, slightly ahead on the GT Neo 3. Let's go to the camera. Okay, 
okay i do feel that the gd neo 3 does switch on faster and let's go to tiktok okay gt neo 3 as well very very fast twitter okay about the same let's go to the play store about the same here as well and that's about it so in terms of the speed looks like the gt neo 3 is really doing very well temperature wise 36.3 and let's check out the s22 ultra 38 degrees that is just massively very bad and uh very disappointing so far let's check out the ram management here holds up pretty well whereas there's a refresh on the gt neo 3 let's go to pokemon go again another refresh which is very disappointing although this one does have eight gigs of ram but still it's very bad so another refresh here not looking very good let's go to twitter okay this one's all right let's go to facebook okay no refreshes go to pubg mobile okay holds up very very well but definitely ram management better here on the s22 ultra let's check out the temperatures just for you guys at home 37.7 has better slightly gotten better 36.2 all right so now let's move on to the next test all right, so now I'm going to do a GPU test over here using InShot and both of these two phones. I'm going to export this into 4K at 30 FPS. Let's see which one would come out on top. Looks like it's really fast on both of these two phones. S22 Ultra having a very slight lead over here. And yes, boom, we are done ahead of the GT Neo 3. Okay, so now I'm going to do a Geekbench test on both of these two phones. And temperature-wise, let's check it out. 36.1 whereas on the s22 ultra 36.4 so pretty similar i would say on both these two phones both of them of course have been cooled down and let's just run this test and i'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results <laughs> Okay, so we are done with the GT Neo 3 ahead of the S22 Ultra and there were some times where the S22 Ultra was ahead but at the end, the GT Neo 3 does come out on top. Very nice score here, 963. And finally, with the S22 Ultra, we have gotten the 1000 mark. I'm actually quite surprised with this in terms of the multiple score. Surprisingly, the GT Neo 3 does outperform it. And in terms of the temperatures, 36.4, still very, very good. And if you go on to the S22 Ultra, 37 degrees. So it definitely does throttle a little bit more. And if you go on to the compute test right here, again, Let's run this test and I'll see you guys at the end where we do get the results. So we're done and the S22 Ultra way ahead of the GT Neo 3. In terms of score, OpenCL 5008. And let's check out the temperatures here. It's actually very warm on my hands, 37.2. Let's just give some time and while we do that, Let's check out the history of results over here. So as we can see from the multi-core score in terms of the CPU score, it was actually starting off very disappointingly. I don't think I had a look down there. Here look from this time onwards, 2nd April. So it's about 700, 700, 900 was the highest that we got turned so far. And today we got about 1,000 finally. And over here, 4,001. All right, so let's check out the temperatures. 36.5 pretty awesome i would say and let's check out the history on this 900 and 900 so far so yes yeah, still very very good but of course uh, not as i think i would say it's actually more consistent compared to the s22 ultra in terms of the compute test this is the scores that we've been getting so definitely a major advantage over here on the s22 ultra so let me just cool these two phones down as we go on to the next test all right and lastly here we have the 3d mark test and before we start temperature wise 35.2 and on the s22 ultra 35.3 so very similar indeed battery wise 92 and 95 here on the gt neo 3 
So again, let's run this test and I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so we are done here with the S22 Ultra. Massive difference in terms of the score and also when it comes to the FPS. Temperature wise, let's check it out. 36 degrees, still very well. 36.9, so definitely warmer on the S22 Ultra. Let's go on to the next thing here, which is the slingshot test. And again, let's do this test. Battery wise, 90%, up against 94, both of them 5,000 minutes of battery. Let's run this test. And again, I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. All right, so we are done in terms of speed, both of them also really fast. And in terms of the scores, both of them maxed out, which of course is really good and very impressive from the MediaTek chipset. Temperature-wise, 36.6. And on the S22 Ultra, 38.3. So definitely very hot here. In terms of battery, 87% up against 92%. But one thing, of course, which is really impressive on the S22 Ultra is the FPS. So as you can see here, 94.2 up against 58 but when it comes to the lower part here which is the physics score on the third one you got 21 here up against 31 on the realme gt neo 3 so these are the stuff that you might want to check out if you guys want a screenshot go ahead and do it so if you guys did enjoy this video and also want to see more of these type of videos do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and here on youtube at dr hammerstack so that is it this is dr hammerstack stay safe take care and wash those hands